Welcome, Public Inventors, and Happy New Year. I am happy to say that Public Invention now has four volunteers, although I am the only one working full-time. Most of my work has gone into the Tetrobot Glusbot invention, and along with the help of Evan Bartelson and Joshua Hannon, the Tetrobot has been making fantastic progress, and I'll post a video about that soon. But I recently took a break from working on the robot to reconstitute one of my 29 ideas or inventions that I have published at GitHub. Uh, you can see them here under the ideas folder in the pub in uh, organization and pub in repo at GitHub. Um, I've written up brief little synopses of a large number of ideas uh, and this is one of them. Um, I actually developed this idea uh, about 25 years ago when I was in graduate school when um, the computer technology to render it was much less ubiquitous than it is today. The basic idea is to build a colored writing system where the letters, instead of represented as monochrome glyphs, uh, the graphemes are little blocks of color, one on top of each other, which to me remind me of little military ribbons, for example. Uh, there are three reasons why you might want to do this. First of all, it looks pretty. Secondly, it might be faster with practice to read this way than to read uh, Roman glyphs. And it might be possible to get more text packed at the same legibility into the same real estate or onto the same page, which would, of course, be extremely valuable. I don't claim this is the only approach for using color or that it is anywhere near perfect. Uh, like everything done by public invention, this is offered free to the world under either the uh, GNU public license or the Creative Commons share alike attribution license. So you are free to take it and create derived and in this case, perhaps better works. As you can see, I'm using the idea of using little blocks of color to stand in for the Roman alphabet. I use one block on top of another so that your eye can scan along the central line, hopefully quickly. I've got a very limited palette of five colors to provide as much color hue separation as possible. I found that punctuation, which you can see over here in the poem Ozymandias, the little commas and, and other punctuation, uh, is logographic. And therefore, I do not attempt to represent punctuation with color. Um, and likewise, capitalization in English is a little bit of a visual cue, uh, perhaps not as important as it is in German or some other languages. But I represent capital letters with slightly larger letters. So here is my little map of the alphabet. Uh, so a capital is represented with the same colors, but slightly larger, as you can see in some of the first uh, words which are capitalized in the poem over here. So this is a free online tool. This is from GitHub pages for the GitHub repo for this idea where you will find the CSS and JavaScript used to implement this. It's not obvious from this screencast, but it is simply a Chrome browser pointing at my GitHub repo. And you can paste in another piece of text. This is uh, from the Wikipedia article on orthography and render it in both the Roman glyphs and in the colored writing system as shown over here in order to experiment with it. And I, I talk a little bit about why you might want to do that. Um, this raises a number of interesting questions. I have not learned to read this. When I originally created the idea some time ago, I almost could read it. I practiced enough at that time that I could almost read it. And I was developing a, a sense that it might be as good as Roman glyphs. However, we all have practiced reading that. In my case, I've been reading for about 46 years. So I'm very good at reading um, English words written in the Roman alphabet. Uh, Obviously, it takes a little bit of time to develop the practice to read the color system, and it would be wonderful if someone would put that time in so that we can answer the question, is it possible to learn this? And if you have learned it, is it in any way superior or faster to using Roman glyphs? Uh, there are a number of other things that could be um, <clears throat> investigated. For example, um, I've rendered it on this page here. Um, slight, it's slightly smaller, taking up slightly less screen space than the Roman um, characters, 
perhaps it could be made even smaller and retain the same legibility, even if it was not actually faster to read than monochrome uh, orthography. So those are all interesting things. And one of the things that I, I like and one of the reasons I wanted to publish this idea is that it gives opportunity for volunteers who are more artistic and interested in design and visual design to work on it. You don't have to know that much about computer programming to explore these ideas. This is um, rendered in JavaScript and uh, CSS. You have to know a little bit about that if you wanted to integrate it on a different page. But um, I, of course, am happy to help you with that. Uh, one of the things about being um, dedicating this portion of my life to just trying to make inventions, which I give away for free, is that it's a little bit lonely. And so I would love to um, collaborate with someone if they were interested in this idea, either as providing my services to program up their ideas or work on it or to brainstorm other ideas. So if you're in, interested in this invention, you can fork it at GitHub and play around with it. Um, because of the license I've published it under, you don't need my permission to do anything more with it. You're welcome to continue forward with that as long as you do not attempt to patent it or monopolize it. Uh, but I would prefer that you contact me and talk to me about it uh, so that we could brainstorm and perhaps develop a little research program together. Uh, that would be a lot of fun for me, and I'd be willing to devote a, a certain amount of time to that. Uh, so this is one of many inventions which have been published. This one is better developed uh, than some of the other ones that I have um, talked about here at my GitHub repo as part of public invention. Have an awesome 2017.